Greetings everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to use re-renderer a video and Neve open source repository to generate amazing animation videos, 3D videos by using existing real videos. If you don't know what is it, let me show you. For example, I have converted this Larry Wills clip into this animation clip with just one click. So I will show you how to turn your real videos into animation or 3d on rampot with one click installer all you need to do is download this installer.sh file open your rampot from this link if you don't have a rampot sign up or login if you have let's login then go to community cloud select extreme speed from here you can use higher vram having machines with higher batch size However, for this tutorial, I will use RTX 3090, which is one of my best GPU selection. From here, type fast and select Rampot Fast Table Diffusion Template. Click continue, deploy, go to my pods, wait until connect button appears here. Okay, connect button appeared, click connect, connect to the JupyterLab. Once the interface has opened, click this icon upload the installer.sh file then all you need to do is start a new terminal by clicking here and use these two commands so i copy them copy paste them and hit enter and it will start the fully automatic installation for you it will also download the necessary model files automatically for you so the necessary libraries installation have been completed now it is downloading the models automatically for you into the correct folders all right all of the models are also downloaded now we are ready to launch the web ui to do that we will use this part of the script so let's open a new terminal here copy paste everything and let's say if you want to use additional models what you need to do is you need to download them inside models folder and you need to modify sd model cfg.py file and add them here as you are seeing right now moreover i suggest you to edit this video blend pi file and make open abyssinth log true this is super important because with this you will have much more verbose output in the workspace where you have launched it now it has started we will use gradual live interface currently we are not able to upload our video into workspace and give its path i have opened an issue thread for this so we are going to use upload from here let's select our video so let's go to video file location i will use this video where was it here so this is the video first of all you need to define your scene very carefully if your scene has multiple different scenarios then you should split them because your prompt should be able to define your scene as much as possible in this scene a bodybuilder is posing in a gym so a muscular man is posing in a gym then there are several settings default settings are really good but if your video is hd i suggest you to make this 704 then i suggest you to change this to kenny make can it low threshold 25 high threshold 50 moreover your base model will have huge effect so you i suggest you to use flat 2d animerge you can also try different models this is an anime model and most importantly according to your resolution you need to reduce this number of parallel processes for 24 gigabyte and this resolution 2 is the maximum that you should set if you go higher resolution make this one if you go lower resolution and according to your vram you can increase this this will significantly affect your processing time so it is super important and before clicking run all make sure that your first keyframe is what you are looking for when you first time hit the first keyframe it will load all of the models as you are seeing right now we are able to watch everything in this started terminal the first time will be slower but second and third and more will be faster because it will cache it in the memory 
By the way, since this is running on a remote server, it will upload file to the remote server. And if your file is too big, it will take a lot of time. Once your file is uploaded, these options will become available. The number of keyframes, I have tested different keyframes and 10 is really, really optimal. So you will see a loading icon here. I will also demonstrate it. Okay, we got the first key as you are seeing right now. For example, we can also try with another model. Let's try with Grave Animated. It is also downloaded. And let's say a muscular man is posing in a gym 3D CGI. Okay, character. Let's see the first keyframe output for this. So it will reload the different model. And we got the output. It is really, really looking like a 3D CGI character as you are seeing right now actually it is amazing it is even better looking than the other one let me show you what i mean by uploading uploading process for example i have another file let's see here this is 3 megabytes and this is 12 megabytes okay i selected it and after i selected it you see this part of the web ui became like this it is loading so this means that it is actually uploading you need to wait here become available once it becomes available it means that the file is uploaded i can also see the upload process here and it is uploaded very nice so it was fast now i can click run first keyframe and it will make this a first keyframe let's see also that one and we got the first keyframe so we can run all and process it all so it is also looking like a cgi character and let's return back to our previous one and now it will re-upload every time it re-uploads unfortunately i opened an issue for this maybe it will get fixed in the future versions so where will be the output file the output video will be here once it is completed but let's say the gradio app lost its connection so you will find the file inside render a video folder inside results you will see the file name the video file name having folder here so it will be inside there for example the po for the posing video we will have a blend.mp4 file here okay let's see the file is uploaded let's click first keyframe okay now i am ready to process all before doing that i will make sure that the number of parallel processes are two and run all and that's it now i need to wait it to process all of the keyframes and everything and the result will be inside this folder we can also see the keyframes here in a moment now it generated the 11th frame yes now we can see it okay it started generating the keys so it is working and as i said the final video will be here then we can download i also have added how to merge the output video with its sound unfortunately it is not keeping the sound moreover if your video fps is like this you may want to convert it to closest fps with ffmpeg thank you very much for supporting me on patreon hopefully i will make a public tutorial step by step tutorial for my non-patreon supporter subscribers as well see you later